Hello and welcome. My name is Tony, and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program here in North Vancouver. And today's chair yoga class is focused on gentle movement for chronic pain. So we're going to be tuning in to what feels right for you, listening to me a little bit of the time, but mostly listening to what it is that you need. There are a few things that we need to focus on with when we're living in a body with chronic pain. And we'll settle the breath, that's number one. We'll notice the sensations in the body, number two. And three, we'll monitor what's going on in our mind as well. And we'll keep checking back in with those three things regularly to see if everything is calm, if everything is consistent and smooth, and if so, we can continue to move. And if one of those things is not um, regular or smooth, then we're gonna stop what we're doing, come back to regulating the mind, the thoughts, the sensations in the body, and then we'll move from there. So I'll keep reminding you to come back to those things. If at any time you know something's not going to work in your body, then you don't have to do it. Everything here is optional. And if you want to stay longer with some movements because it feels good in your body, and if you want to sit out others completely, then please go ahead. This is your class, your practice. So to start with, making sure that you're on a chair that is comfortable and safe for you. That um, if you've got any wheels on your chair, I'd highly recommend locking those wheels. You can sit as far, far forward or back using the support of your chair um, at the back of you as you need. And you can come forward and back throughout the class. So feet are a comfortable distance. This is all about comfort. And that's going to look different for each and every one of us. So don't worry if something that I'm offering does not suit you, just ignore that. Feet are around a comfortable distance for you. And then you can pick up those toes if you like, or even the balls of the feet and notice what that feels like. And gently lay the feet back down on the support underneath you. And just send all your awareness down towards your feet. getting that connection to the support underneath you. And you're welcome to go ahead and lower your gaze, soften your gaze or close your eyes to do that. That can help tune our awareness in to the energy we have on the soles of our feet. And then in your own time, take a generous breath in, exhale it out. Another few breaths like that, breathing in a way that feels comfortable for you, a little deeper, a little longer. Mm -hmm. Settling yourself into this moment. And then just tune in. And tune the outside world out and go inside and just notice, ask yourself, how am I feeling today? Allow everything that arises to simply be there, noticing as things arise and come and go in your mind. Notice if there's a lot on your mind today. And then notice how your body feels as a whole, from the crown of your head down to the soles of your feet that we just tuned into. Notice the kind of energy levels you're feeling today. Notice any pain or discomfort in your body. And try and stay away from the stories as to why that's there. Just notice sensations. And then also notice places in your body that feel calm. Places in your body that maybe feel relaxed 
always adjusting how you're seated to accommodate for that. So if there's anything that you can do to make things feel a little easier, then go ahead and do that now. And we start to tune into our breath. Noticing the inhales and the exhales. And starting to take a little deeper breath in and a little longer breath out. Maybe breathing in and out through your nose if that feels comfortable. And starting to smooth that breath out once you've come to a comfortable rhythm for you. We steady the inhale as best as we can and we smooth the exhale. And if at any time you're getting focused on one particular place in your body, don't forget to allow your awareness to settle into different places too. So the loud places don't take up our whole awareness. No matter how loud they become, noticing also quieter sensations, places that feel more easeful as well. So for example, if your left elbow is hurting, then also notice your right elbow, notice sensations there. So we have these longer, smoother inhales and exhales, and then bring a quality of softness into the breath too. So letting go of any effort. And then we ask ourselves, do I feel safe here? And if the answer is yes, then we'll continue on with the questions. If the answer is no, I do not feel safe, then adjust your body in any way, pillows, cushions, anything that would make you feel at ease here. And I know that ease is relative. And as we go on into movements, we ask, am I feeling safe? Mind, is my mind rushing? Am I starting to go, I don't know, I don't think this is going to be like such a good idea. If that's starting to happen, then we stop the movement, we come back to this breath. And if you're noticing that your mind is saying, I'm going to regret this later, we stop, we come back to this breath. And as long as the breath can be these longer, smoother, softer breaths, then we're okay. As long as you can pay attention to the sensations in your body, not only the loud ones, but also the quieter ones, then we can continue. So we have the mind regulation, our body regulation, and then the breath regulation, and all those we'll keep checking back in with and at any time, if something feels uncomfortable, then you stop. Then you take another movement, you adapt the movement to make it feel comfortable for you, or you rest and come back to these longer, smoother, softer breaths. And it'll make sense as we go on. And when we're experiencing chronic pain, our tolerance for pain actually goes down over time. So, when we're moving, if we're coming to a place where everything's starting to hype up, our breath starts to get deregulated, we focus on the breath. And then we come back to the level of movement we were doing with that steady breath. And we check in with the questions, um, do I feel safe? Do I feel that I'm going to regret this tomorrow? Are the sensations in my body, the thoughts in my mind, my breath, regular? And if they are, you can consistently move at that point. And over time, as we do that, rather than staying away from the pain, we start to come up to that place where things start to deregulate. We consciously regulate those things, and then we increase our pain tolerance. And if you're interested 
in any of this stuff, you can check out Pain BC and Neil Pearson's work on pain management. So we're rooting down through our feet. We're rooting down through our seat. So just build up some awareness to the support underneath you, both feet and seat. From there, lifting up through the spine, through the crown of the head. Consider softening the shoulders, widening through the collarbones. Hands are supported in your own way. Longer, smoother, softer breaths. And from there, on an inhale, we'll lift the nose up. On the exhale, we'll draw the chin down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Longer, smoother, softer breaths. Always checking in, do I feel safe here? Am I going to regret this tomorrow? If the answer is yes, stop or do less. Focus on the breath. Moving with the breath length because that soothes the nervous system. When we live with chronic pain, then the flight and fight response is constant. Inhaling and exhaling. And if everything feels smooth here and easy, you can allow that movement to become a little bigger. Only if sensations, feel manageable, the breath is steady, and the mind feels easy. Another two. Rest if you need to. And after the last exhale, we come back to center. From here, this is the inhale on the exhale. We're checking that um, over the right shoulder, inhaling back to center and exhaling to the left. Longer, smoother, softer breaths. And the movement is from the breath. So the breath comes first. The movement as smooth as the breath is. So the movement mimics the breath. making the movement bigger, maybe glancing over that shoulder, taking the gaze behind you, only if everything feels safe. If you don't feel like you're going to regret it, if your mind is easy, body sensations are manageable and the breath is steady. Two more either side. Always adjusting things as you need to. Next time we come to center, we stay. Keeping the hands supported on the right side or taking that right hand down, we'll start to circle through the right shoulder. Keep it small. You can even imagine moving, but the breath is longer, smoother, and softer, or resting. Does this feel safe? Does it feel like you'll regret it tomorrow? The answer is yes. Then pause, come back to the breath, start smaller, or imagine moving. You can make those movements a little bigger if everything feels safe. Noticing sensations in your body. Always adjusting things or pausing if things start to ramp up your mind, sensations, or your breath. And we're going to go around in the opposite direction when you're ready, always tuning in to what feels right for you. And that'll be different for each of us. And it depends on the pain day. Inhaling and exhaling. Longer, smoother, softer breath. The breath is key to the movement. It guides the movement. One more in this direction. Mm -hmm. and we'll turn out the right palm, bending from the elbow, inhaling up, palm turns down on the exhale. Upper arm is soft and easy. Inhaling and exhaling, great place to stay. If you want to add on, starting to move from the shoulder. Keep the joints easy to start with. 
Keep the movement as small as you need to, to regulate the breath, keep the mind easy and keep the sensations in your body comfortable or as comfortable as you can keep the breath steady. You can start to increase the movement if things feel okay. Bigger is not better here, but if you're coming up to a place where things start to feel a little more uncomfortable, consider whether you can stay there with that consistent breath. If it's possible, then focus on the breath, keep the movement up to that place. And that's how we start to up our pain tolerance over time. You're welcome to take the arm overhead, support yourself with that left hand if that's what you need, or keep that movement as small as feels good for you. Last one here. And on that exhale, the right hand comes down and we're gonna circle through that wrist. And depending on what's going on in your hand, you could consider a soft fist there. You can take your fingers out and you can wiggle those fingers and thumbs or keep them still. Breath is longer, smoother and softer. We'll go around in the opposite direction. Rest if you need to, but if this feels safe and you don't feel like you'll regret it and the sensations, your mind and your breath is easy, then stay. And then we'll take that right hand back to support. Left hand on support or dangling and we start to move through the left shoulder. Longer, smoother and softer breath. Notice how this feels. Does it feel safe? Will you regret it tomorrow? Does your mind feel easy here? Can you focus on the different sensations? Is your breath steady and smooth? Bigger or smaller movements, depending on what it is that you need. And again, coming up to that pain threshold, and if you can keep the steadiness of breath, mind, and the body sensations, then continue. We're gonna take it around in the opposite direction. But you're the only judge of what you need. You know what's going on in your body. Inhaling and exhaling, steady and smooth, resting if you need to. Always asking yourself those questions. Do I feel safe? Will I regret this? Is my mind, body, and breath easy? We'll take that left hand down, left palm out from the elbow, inhaling up, exhaling down. Notice sensations in your body here that you may not usually notice, especially if there's certain areas that tend to take your awareness. You can stay here or moving from the shoulder, depending on what feels good for you. Again, moving gently, moving as if through water, so the joints are easy, inhaling and exhaling. And you're welcome to take that movement bigger if you like, but only if it feels good in your body. Bigger is not better here. We're trying to just tune in to what it is that you need. Moving with the breath, inhaling up and exhaling down. You don't have to match my movements. This is about your breath, your movements. Two more here. Inhaling and exhaling. Rest if you need to. And then we'll take that left hand down and then we'll circle through the wrist. Again, moving with the breath as if you're kind of stirring through water. You can keep that, uh, those fingers out. You can take it in a soft fist. Then we'll take that round in the opposite direction. Longer, smoother, softer breaths. And then when you're ready, hand comes back to support. 
From here, taking it down from the shoulders into the spine. So hands on the thighs here, and if you're seated into the back of your chair, you're welcome to shuffle forward just a little, which may give you a little more option to movement, and that may be not what you need in your spine today, so you decide, seated cat and cow. On the inhale, we're drawing out with the heart, drawing the hands back towards the pelvis. On the exhale, sending the fingers towards the knees, belly comes into the spine and we round. Start easy. Inhaling, heart opens. Exhaling, back of the heart comes towards the back of the chair. Inhaling and exhaling. Starting as big or as small as you like. And you can add the movement on by lifting the chin, getting into the cervical spine. On the inhale, exhale, chin comes down. And you might notice different sensations in the top of your shoulders, your neck, your upper back as that happens. Always adjusting. And if you want to take that into the lower back, then as we come forward, tilt the pelvis forward, tailbone comes out behind you, a little or a lot, your choice. Exhale, tucking the tail as we round through the lumbar spine. Do you feel safe? Does it feel like you're going to regret this tomorrow? Is your breath steady? Sensations in the body manageable? and your mind feeling easy. You can add on or take away as much or as little as you like. Another three here. Or resting. Mm -hmm. Coming all the way back to center. And from here, taking a lateral movement to the spine, so hands can stay supported or dangle next to you depending on what's comfortable. We root through the feet, the seat, and rise from there. And your choice whether you want to be leaning into the back of the chair or not. Consider a place where your shoulders feel comfortable, those collarbones as wide as possible without jamming anything. So there's a softness to the body. Longer, smoother, softer breaths. This is the inhale. On the exhale, we're taking those right fingertips a little further down, inhaling up, exhaling to the other side. Mm -hmm. easy movement. We're not trying to get the fingertips to the floor or anywhere close to that. We're moving at a place that feels safe and stable. Does this feel safe? Do you feel like you're going to regret it? Is your mind easy, your breath easy, sensations in your body manageable with the breath, with the movement? flowing. Another two either side, maybe smaller movements depending on what you need or bigger. Last one here. And coming all the way back to center. Hands come back to support unless they're already there. Rooting down to rise. Checking in with yourself here. How am I feeling? What is my energy level like? My mind, my body, my breath. Coming into a gentle twist. So rooting, feet and seat, lifting from there. On the inhale, there's always a slight lifting through the crown of the head. And on the exhale, twisting to the left. Let right fingers come forward, left come back and we're twisting. Inhaling back to center, exhaling, twisting. Inhaling, finding length. Exhaling, softening or deepening that twist. And you're welcome, depending on what's going on in your body, to glance over that left shoulder as much or as little as feels okay for you. Keeping the flow of the movement. A 
adjusting to move more or less, depending on checking in with your breath, your mind, sensations in your body, maybe even coming up to that point where the sensations, the discomfort increases and notice if you can stay there as long as you feel safe and you won't regret it tomorrow and the breath is easy. One more and then we're coming to the other side. So inhale, rooting to rise, exhaling, twisting to the right. Inhaling to center, exhaling any amount to the right. And if we stay at a place where the body feels comfortable, comfortable being relative of course, where the movement is easy, the breath, the mind, then the body naturally feeling safe tends to open up. So always adjusting, always noticing what's going on because things change. Glancing over that right shoulder if that feels comfortable. Easy flow. Another two here. Always resting if you prefer. Mm -hmm. And coming back to center when you're ready. Any movements you need in your body to allow things to feel easier, go ahead. And then when you're ready, we're going to heel toe those feet out just a little wider. And you're welcome to come forward or back on your chair, depending on what it is that you need. I'm just going to move that water bottle up the way. Mm -hmm. So we're rooting down through our feet and seat and rising from there. And noticing if you feel safe here. And if you don't, please adjust yourself. Maybe sitting back onto your chair, using the back of the chair for support if that helps. Or adjusting that external rotation. It's going to be different for each and every one of us. And one side may feel very different from the other. Check in. Do I feel safe here? Do I think that I'm going to regret this tomorrow? Is my breath steady? Is my mind able to focus? Do I feel easy here? Are the sensations in my body manageable? Hand supporting yourself. And from here on the inhale, as if I just hooked the front of your ribs forward, you're gonna roll the ribs forward. On the exhale, we're gonna take it back as if we're rolling around in a circle through the ribs. Now you can imagine moving. You can keep this movement minimal. Or if this feels good to you, make sure it's a controlled movement so the movement is slow, one circle to one cycle of breath. And then you make it your own. So you can get your shoulders, your head, your neck involved and get your hips more involved. You choose. Hands are supporting you. I highly recommend closing your eyes here, making this movement your own. And that'll be different for each and every one of us. Do you feel safe? Will you regret this? Is your mind, body and breath able to feel stable? We've got another three in this direction, unless you're resting. And you can always do every other movement or every two movements or so. Pause at the end of the exhale and we'll take that round in the opposite direction. It'll feel slightly awkward to start with. Start smaller. And then again, as the body starts to feel easeful in the movement, however big or small that is, then you can add on from there. Always checking in. Do I feel safe? Will I regret this? Can I keep my body, my breath and my mind steady? And if the answer is no to any of those, pause, find the longer, smoother, softer breath and come back to the movement whenever it feels right for you or don't. 
flowing movements. Last breath here. Coming back to center and after all that movement, notice what's going on in your body here. Coming down, we've warmed up a little bit through the hips with that movement, coming down through the body. I'm going to get into internal and external rotations of the legs. So if you need to adjust that external rotation, please go ahead. And the more you sit back in your chair, the more support you'll have, the more you come forward, the less support you have. So you get to the side. Hand on that right leg. Left leg is rooting down as is your seat and we're lifting from there. Steady breath. Steady the mind. Take the awareness through the body. You can keep the right foot on the floor. You can lift the toes or lift the ball of the foot so you're on the heel, your choice. On the inhale, we're taking the knee wide. On the exhale, gentle drawing in. So we're moving through the right hip socket. Inhaling and exhaling. Keep it easy to start with. You can even imagine moving. That's always an option. Allow the movement to flow, to be as easy as possible. And again, go through the questions. Do I feel safe here? Am I going to regret this? Can I do this movement and keep my breath, my mind, my body feeling steady? Maybe that movement becomes a little smaller or bigger, adjusting it to your needs. Maybe you need to adjust your stance. Always giving yourself permission to do what it is that feels best for you. There's no right and wrong here. It's all about monitoring what's going on in your body. Got another couple of movements on this side, resting if you need to. One last exhale here. You can always continue, of course. Next inhale, we take that knee wide and the foot comes down. Readjust if you need to, coming to the left side. Right foot roots. You can lift up through the left toes, the ball of the foot so you're on the heel and that may need a, mean adjusting things. On the inhale, we're taking the knee a little wide and on the exhale, we're drawing it in. And depending on what's going on in your body, ask yourselves the question, do I feel safe here? Am I going to regret this? The answer, yes, then pause. Come back to the breath. If the answer is no, can I do this and keep my mind, my breath and my body feeling easy? Can I increase the movement and keep everything steady? Being gentle with yourself and knowing that this is a practice, meaning that we do it over and over and over again and every day, every time we do it, it's different and allowing for that difference. Another two here or resting if you need to. Mm -hmm. Coming back to center, taking that left foot down and adjusting yourself again. Keeping that external rotation, but it may mean that you need to differ. Change it up. Hands on the thighs, rooting to rise, steady breath. This is the inhale with a long spine. On the exhale, we're coming forward, inhaling up, exhaling down. Keeping that support on your hands. Noticing the sensations in your body. Noticing the breath. Noticing how your mind feels. Nice. Two more just like this. As much or as little support as you need on your thighs. Next time we come up, we stay and then we're going to heel toe those legs in. Nicely done. From here, 
It's getting into the ankles. I'm gonna sit back a little bit. Getting into the ankles. So on the inhale, we're lifting up through the right heel. Exhale, taking it down. Does this feel safe? Do I feel like I'm going to regret this tomorrow? Is my breath, my body and my mind easy? Mm -hmm. And then we're coming to the left side. Inhale, lift through the left heel. Exhale, take it down. We want the smoothness of the movement. So we're not concerned about how big the movement is. We just want the steadiness. Steadiness of breath, ease in the mind, and feeling safe in the body. Another two on the side. And then when you're ready, coming back to support. Now the next half of the class is down on the floor. Make sure that you have lots of blankets underneath you if you need softness. You can do this on a bed, anything that's comfortable here. And remember that it is all led by yourself. So when you're ready, coming down to the floor and making sure, if possible, that you could have two pillows or bolsters with you and any support you need under your head too. And I'll meet you down there. Hi, here we are again down on the floor. I have two yoga bolsters here, but I'm not expecting you to have those. So two rolled up towels, pillows, any cushions you may have are equally as good. If you need softness underneath you on the floor, please take as many towels or soft blankets underneath you that you need. Your comfort is what we're looking for here. And if it feels better doing it in a chair, in a recliner, or on a bed, please go ahead and do that. I'm gonna tell you to put your um, bolsters either side of you for what we're com coming up to in a minute, but I'm gonna put mine slightly to the side just so you can see everything. Alrighty. Coming all the way down to the floor on your back, or again, on a surface that feels comfortable for you. Always adjusting something. Pillow underneath your head, anything at all. And then I'm gonna draw that right knee in towards us, keeping that left foot on the floor. You can give it a little help holding onto the thigh underneath the knee in front of that shin, anything that feels good here. And then the option is, of course, you can straighten out that left leg, or you can have something underneath that knee which will help support the lower back, like a bolster underneath that knee. I'm doing it without, just so you can see. And then we're gonna circle through that ankle, one direction. The breath is longer, smoother, and softer. And again, you can do this in a recliner, in a chair. Then we'll go around in the opposite direction. Do you feel safe here? Will you regret it tomorrow? Are the sensations in your body, your breath, and your mind feeling at ease? From here, coming back to stillness, right hand on the right knee, and again, for a lot of you, it's gonna feel better to have that left knee bent, foot to the floor. I'm only extending that leg because, so you can see. Keeping the left hand out to the side in a cactus can be down by your hip, anything that feels comfortable, but so we feel grounded across the shoulders. I'm gonna to start to circle through that right knee. Inhaling and exhaling. And if this is your point of pain, or if you have a condition like fibromyalgia where you're not quite sure it could possibly be, then again, ask yourself the questions. Is my breath and body and mind easy? Do I feel safe? Do I feel like I'll regret this? Can you stay with the breath here? 
one circle to one cycle of breath. And then when you're ready, taking it round in the opposite direction, always resting if you need to at any point. Inhaling and exhaling. And again, we're never concerned with the size of the movement. What we want is the smoothness, the steady breath, the ease of the mind, feeling safe. And then when you're ready, coming back to center, give that right knee a little hug in. The left leg is long, then foot to the floor, knee to the sky. And we're gonna release that right leg down. Take a few breaths here. And when you're ready, we're drawing the left knee in. Noticing how this feels. It doesn't have to look a particular way. And then we're gonna circle through that ankle. Breath steady. Noticing sensations as they arise and they ebb and flow away through the movement. Noticing if your mind is easy. Will I regret this? Take it around in the opposite direction. Do I feel safe? And then when you're ready, coming back to stillness, taking a rest if you need to, left hand on or towards the left knee. And you can keep that right foot to the floor. You can extend that right leg out depending on what's comfortable for you. And again, one is not better than the other. I'm extending mine out so you can see a little clearer. Left knee comes up towards the sky somewhat and we start to circle. Keep it small. Steady breath. Awareness to sensation. Awareness to the changing of sensations throughout the movement. Steady breath. Always going through the questions. Do I feel safe here? Will I regret this? Bigger or smaller movements, depending on what feels right for you, but we have the flow of movement. Even if that means making the movement smaller. Going around in the opposite direction when you're ready, noticing how it feels in your hip joint and everywhere else in your body. Inhaling and exhaling. Mm -hmm. And when you're ready, coming back to center, right foot comes to the floor if it's not there already, and left foot stays there too. Hands to the front of the hips here. I'm going to take some pelvic tilt on the inhale as if I picked up your belly button towards like a thread towards the sky will lift up through the belly on the exhale as if I pushed your belly button down towards the floor and in towards the mat or whatever it is that you're supported with inhaling belly lifts exhaling the belly draws in with the hand on the front of the pelvis, you might start to notice that this movement starts to tilt your pelvis. Inhaling and exhaling. Again, does this feel safe? Are you going to regret this? Can you do this movement with steady breath, longer, smoother and softer, easy mind, and the sensations in your body being manageable, you can start to increase this movement with support through your feet. So on the inhale, imagine drawing your heels back towards your seat, not that they're going to move, but that increases the um, curve in the lumbar spine. And on the exhale, as if you could push the toes away from you, not that they'll move, they're st stuck down. And then the 
um, tailbone could lift up from the floor. Inhaling and exhaling. And if that feels too much, then no need to do it. Noticing maybe that you need to adjust that movement to be smaller or bigger. Do I feel safe? Am I going to regret this? Is my breath and my mind easy and the sensations in the body manageable with all of those tools that you have? Hands can come down by the hips and on the inhale, option to push into the feet and hover the hips. On the inhale, on the exhale, we're drawing it down. Taking the palms down by your hips. On the inhale, we're lifting up through the belly. On the exhale, pushing into the feet. Maybe the tailbone lifts so much, the back of the pelvis lifts. Inhaling, coming all the way back with that thread up towards the sky, the belly lifting. Inhaling and exhaling. And again, we're not, um, we're not concerned with how big the movement is, but we want the steadiness. Inhaling and exhaling, peeling any amount up and down the spine, keeping the movement as fluid as you can. Again, as if you're moving through water and you didn't want to ripple it. Inhaling and exhaling. Another two just like this, as much or as little as feels good for you. And then after the next exhale, you're gonna roll all the way down, hands coming onto the belly, steady breath. From there, taking feet a little bit wider on the mat, option to stay here, option to windshield wipe of the knees from side to side. Do I feel safe? Am I going to regret this? Is my mind, my body, and my breath steady? You can increase the movement, adjusting anything, like your hands out, shoulder height, and a cactus or a T, making the movement bigger or smaller, you can rest flowing movements. You can take the gaze away from the knees if you like. So the head is going to the opposite direction and then the movement is coming all the way up through the spine. Two more either side or resting. Steady breath, longer, smoother and softer. Next breath, we're coming all the way up to center, heel toeing the feet in towards each other. And from here, you're gonna take hold of your pillows, rolled towels, or blankets. Keeping the feet in towards each other, we're taking the knees out wider, making sure that we have support underneath those thighs. So I'm going to take those bolsters for myself, magically appeared, I'm going to make sure that my upper legs and my shins are supported here. And this is going to be different for each of us and don't expect one leg to, um, to be exactly the same as the other. So make sure that you're adjusting that support to suit you. And if you need a blanket or extra covers to be here, then you can. And then we're gonna take a big breath in when you're ready, once you're sorted. And exhale it out long and soft. 
Take another few breaths like that, tuning into your body here, noticing if you need to adjust that support in any way so your body can sink into that support and trust it. Soften the gaze, close the eyes. And imagine that you could sink into that support with every exhale. Releasing down. Stay exactly as you are. And I'm gonna come up to guide you through a body awareness technique. So wherever you are, again, always knowing you can adjust anything so you can feel more comfortable at any time. Allow the breath to be easy, release any control over the breath. And simply notice how your body feels here. Does your body feel at ease? Does your body feel wound up? Take your awareness to the top of your head. Glide your awareness to your face. Notice sensations, notice your mind, notice everything. Notice your eyes. Take your awareness to your eyes. Awareness to your nose. Draw your awareness to your lips. Awareness inside to your mouth. Awareness to the back of your head. Awareness to your neck and throat. Just being aware. Awareness to the right shoulder. Awareness to your left shoulder. Awareness to your right elbow. Awareness to your left elbow. Awareness to your right wrist. Awareness to your left wrist. Awareness to your right hand. Awareness to your left hand. Awareness to your belly. Awareness to your back. Awareness to your pelvis. Awareness to your right hip. Awareness to your left 
Awareness to your right knee. Awareness to your left knee. Awareness to your right ankle. Awareness to your left ankle. Awareness to your right foot. Awareness to your left foot. Awareness to the whole right side of your body, from the crown of your head down through the right sole of the foot. Awareness to the whole left side of your body, from the crown of your head to the sole of your left foot. Gliding your awareness to all of the places in your body that you feel discomfort or pain. Awareness to all of the places in your body that feel soft and relaxed. Awareness to your body where it moves with your breath. Awareness to your heartbeat. Awareness to any other place in your body that you feel a pulse. Awareness to your body as a whole everything together. You can stay as you are or taking your hands at the outside of your knees, drawing your knees slowly towards each other. You can lengthen your legs out with support underneath them or take any other relaxation posture that feels good to you. Making any adjustments that you need to to support yourself. yourself to release into that support. You're welcome to stay here for as long as feels comfortable for you. If you wish to stay for longer, just tune my voice out. Otherwise,
thigh is starting to take slightly deeper breaths in and exhale softly like a sigh. those gentle breaths starting to bring soft easy movements back into your fingers your toes or your wrists or ankles moving lazily being kind to yourself And in your own way, in your own time, over the next few breaths, starting to awaken. If you're lying on your back, drawing your knees to the sky, feet to the floor, and even windshield wiper, those knees a little to side to side. And give yourself a little hug in with the knees. There's no right or wrong here. It's just tuning into your body and seeing what it's asking of you to awaken. Again, always being generous with yourself. And when you're ready, slowly finding your way to a place where you would like to finish your practice. No right or wrong. Hands in a gesture of closing, whatever that means for you. You're welcome to soften your gaze or close your eyes. And notice your breath. Notice your mind. And notice your body as a whole. Allowing your chin to soften towards your chest just a little, dropping towards the heart. And take a breath of gratitude here for your inner teacher inside that can guide you in your movements the more we take the time to listen to that inner teacher, the more familiar we become with its language. Through the body, through the mind, through the breath. Guiding us to what it is that feels right for us in this moment. And from my heart to yours, thank you for practicing. Namaste.